Good day and welcome to another episode of Tabletop Cinema, where we bring together the worlds of filmmaking, tabletop roleplaying, and video games. I'm your host, Mikey, and I'm a freelance filmmaker, tabletop RPG game master, and variety streamer. And today, we return to our first playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. We're now in part 10 of our playthrough, and we're nearing the end. The story so far, Jin Sakai has fully embraced his role as the mythical and legendary ghost of Tsushima. At the cost of his own uncle's acceptance and him as well being seen as a terrifying and evil entity who broke the samurai code and went too far while waging war against the Mongols. He was imprisoned by his own uncle to be sent for judgment on the mainland. But with some loyal allies at our side, they freed us to continue our fight against the Mongols. And now we're in the last act of the main story. And let's see how this goes. Did Jin Sakai go too far? Must we adhere to the strict samurai code when our enemies won't? How far is too far when it comes to defending your home? Perhaps we'll find the answer at the end of Jin Sakai's journey. But right now, we're at war and war can be cruel. We lost our horse, Sora, which was a big blow for me personally, but we did lose a lot of other people along the way as well. So nobody's spared, not even the horses. The unfortunate reality of war. Did Jin Sakai do the right thing? When he decided to try and assassinate the Khan? and poison the entire encampment of the enemy. Which did save so many people from losing their lives at a headlo at, due to a headlong assault. Well, his uncle disowned him for that, for breaking the code. <laughs> it's samurai time. Welcome to the stream, Korgal. We finally discovered well, people have been using the new emote, but I do like it. I'm not sure if it shows up really clearly on your end, but I guess it can express a range of feelings. <laughs> I hope it's versatile enough to react to things. I put it up just in time for, you know, spooky season. But it is supposed- uh, a closer shot of that is actually Maya looking absolutely terrified, looking at the camera. I'm not sure what she saw on the camera, but you know. My cats see dead people, and I hope they keep them company. So we're in the frozen north. In Kamiyagata. And our goal is simple. Kill the Khan. But before that, we've heard of a mythic tale. One of the undying flame. The musician sings a tale about a flaming blade near Mount Jogaku. He must be drawn there for a good reason. I should hear his tale before he tires of the cold. We're gonna start off with this to learn the way of the flame. Then help the last of our allies, for they've been at our side despite everything, despite Jin being branded as a criminal. They're here to finish the fight, and maybe we'll see you through together. So I owe them, and I'd like to help them before we finally move on the gathering storm we better make sure we suit up for this make sure everything is ready we have our loadout set up stealth combat and general exploration it's okay to talk. We will talk later, Sensei Ishikawa. We must learn of this tale. The Undying Flame. This okay. is her new hose. This is her new horse, Roach. Oh. I swear, that guy really sounds like Uncle Iroh.
We got our equipment loaded up. We're at full. There you are. Please. Almost lit. Will the fire not light? No, my lord. The wood is too wet. And my hands too cold. Let me try. Oh, never been so cold. You'd be better off somewhere warmer. As would you, my lord. For now, share the fire with me. And listen to the tale of this mountain. Long ago, fire fell from the sky and landed atop Mount Jogaku. A lone warrior braved the dangerous climb and found a giant rock covered in flames. He touched his sword to the fire. Flames engulfed the steel, but left him unharmed. He created a new fighting style. He called the Way of the Flame. The warrior took pieces of the rock west with him to China. There he sought answers about its origin from learned monks and scholars. After months of travel and research, fire fell from the sky once more. He led the people to it and showed them it was nothing to fear. For he believed the way of the flame was a gift from the heavens. And he shared its secrets with all who wished to learn. Handed down through generations, the way of the flame has returned to Tsushima. The Mongols wield it against our people. But rumor says the fire still burns atop Mount Jogaku waiting for any who can survive the climb. So you wish to know if the tale is true? Will you make the climb? Not I, my lord. I told the story to a Ronin not long ago, and he began the climb. Though I fear the cold will take him. I'll um, find what secret the mountain hides. I'm a sucker for the whole ink art and the brush strokes. See if there's any truth to this tale. I see a campfire over there. Uh, excuse me, Roach. Yeah, okay. Good girl. <clears throat> Did he pass through here? It's gonna be one of those things, right? I might freeze to death. So we need fire. Jogaku. To ascend. Is this the way? Oh, my screen is freezing up. Need to warm up. Warm up where? Can't take much more cold. Oh no. I need a fire. I'm gonna die. This is just like Dragon Spine Mountain. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, I see fire over there. 
I guess we gotta follow the trail. Leapfrog. So cold. Can we see our next destination or do we just have to brave the cold? I see it. What? Uh, can't take much more cold. Oh, I didn't see it. Ooh, fire. Guess I'm not out of combat. Okay, where's your next destination? Up there. Okay. So cold. Get ready. And go. So cold. Need to warm up. Hey. By the fire, my lord. Ooh. Thank you. Are you alright? My pride hurts more than my body. It's an unforgiving mountain. What were you hoping to find at the top? Answers. Power. Anything. A flaming sword would be useful in a place like this. So it would. I'm sure you'll pass the mountain. Good luck, my lord. At least the strong hands on the top of the Well. Best of luck. I need to find the next destination, which is. Probably through there. This is Mount Jogaku. You try. Maybe some maybe there's another campfire around the corner, but this may be the last stop. So cold. Okay. It's gonna be a long journey. The strange all over again. Another campfire. All right, let's go. Light it up. Hurry and light. The warmth feels good. Thanks to whoever made it this far. Climber wrote this. Curiosity. How many have tried to reach the top. Curiosity is no match. Curiosity is no match for this cold. I have questions, but the answers the peak holds will never be mine. I shall return home empty handed. Yeah, I love those grappling hooks. You see, those are the kinds of these are the kinds of moves I try to do whenever we play tabletop games. 
As I always make sure my character has a grappling hook. I was telling you there's a... So cold. Hmm. She, she probably should have fo uh, followed. Oh, there. Soon. Soon. That campfire is my only hope. Good night. The, outf night. the outfit I'm actually wearing leads me to artifacts and the like. So cold. But that's why I like wearing it while exploring, so I can pick up a lot of the collectibles on the way. Hey TTCF, welcome back. It's good to see you here every Ghost of Tsushima stream. We are nearing the end, and you've been here throughout the whole journey. Well, at least the end for the main story, as far as I can tell. I don't know how long we have left, but we are on the last act of the main story, and we are going to plan with our allies to kill the Khan. So, then after that, we head all the way to Tales of Iki, which is a DLC which they included in the director's cut. But for now, uh, you're tuning in just now. If you haven't heard, we are doing this first. We're going to learn about the tale of the Undying Flame. Learn the way of the flame. See if there's any stock to the truth or the myth. And then help our allies before killing the Khan. But for now, we are freezing our butts off on top of this mountain. And those who came before. The peak looms over all. The peak looms over. Oh, it's a haiku. The peak looms over. Death's shadow embraces me. Hand in hand, we walk. Fancy for Avengers, but... <laughs> you know what's funny about... Uh, it's a random thought I had about haikus. It's like... Whenever you mention haiku... One of the first instincts is to wait, let me check, count syllables. I think there's a meme about it. It's like haiku, count syllables first before actually like reading it and understanding it. So we're trying to find campfires. Because we're gonna freeze to death if we don't. Where am I supposed to go now? Yep. Oh, 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 hey. The bear. Warm. Soon. Ooh, shit. Uh, can't take much more cold. Whoa. Someone built a dojo here. Whoa. Welcome, my lord. Call me Betomaru. Betomaru, okay. Jin Sakai. I wasn't expecting to find anyone up here. I've wondered if any would make the climb. You seek the way of the flame. Invaders from the west with flaming swords threatened Tsushima. They brought back the gift offered to them by my ancestor. Teach me, Betomaru. A samurai will show the Mongols the true power of your way. Take a piece of the rock, and we will face each other in combat. Only then will you learn the way of the flame. Oh, okay, going for a duel. But first, the controller is vibrating. My little firefly wants to show me something. Is it up here? It's just leather. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can hear it buzzing, but it's telling you that something is here. Does it get things stronger?
Hmm. Well, supplies. All right, well, let's see if we can't find it later. Maybe it's on top. Grapple point. Oops. Where is it, little bug? There it is, Sashimono banner. See, I'd never find these collectibles without the aid of this attire. Alright. There's no leap of faith here, so. Ow, wait, I was supposed to roll. Alright, let's face him in combat. You're up for this. A lot of people died trying to get to this meteor. Meteorite. That's a surprisingly... What, did it blow up a side of the mountain? Well, I don't know. I don't know how destructive this size of this thing would have been on this mountain. But let's see if it works then. Now to do Betomaru and learn his technique. Alright. Shake off the rust of the week. First duel. It is a good style, isn't it, Korrigal? Not surprised. There we go. The way of the flame is on for us. Yeah. Oh. Break your sword against your piece of the rock. R1 to ignite your katana. Once more, let the way of the flame guide you. Oh man, I don't want to kill this guy. All fine dance here, my lord. Good. The way of the flame is not meant for friendly rivals. I will wield it well against the enemies of Tsushima. You have learned the way of the flame. Never forget it is a gift that fell from the heavens, Lord Sakai. Hey, no worries, Magpie. Just glad to have you here. Welcome back to the stream. We just learned the way of the flame. Oh, we have to actually select it. So I'm going to have to uh, wave the flame while equipped. Use this incendiary oil to set your katana on fire, allowing you to burn your enemies. I think there's a whole build about burning people, which will terrify them. But I guess I'm going to have to like pack a bunch of these, a bunch of chunks of these rock, of this meteorite. Descend Mount Jogaku. Okay. We move on now to help our allies before heading to the main quest. We just finished the mythic tale of the Undying Flame. All that's left is to, is to descend Mount Jogaku. Then we help our allies, Norio and Sensei Ishikawa. Then maybe we'll be able to finish the main story today. Thick oil used to coat a blade and set it on fire. Incendiary oil capacity. Ah. We have to upgrade it, which we can. All right. Let's switch out to our exploration gear. I wonder if I can talk to him. Is there something else, 
Lord Sakai. This place isn't what I expected. My ancestors trained in the way of the flame here, free of worldly distractions. What of yourself? I live to share my teaching with those who deserve it. Another may come who needs the way of the flame. Would you teach an enemy? Hmm. Incendiary oil. So that's how they look like. So peaceful. Let's continue. So the power of music here, we can actually play our flute to change the weather, which he just did. Now the weather's quite calm and clear. Raid <laughs> Mind Fashion. Sanguine, it wasn't even what the raid is for. But since you redeemed that, uh, I keep forgetting about the raids, okay? It's not a habit yet, but... And I, I don't feel like, at the end of each stream, I'm always worried that we don't ever have enough viewers, but yeah, raiding... It's a Twitch thing. And after each stream, I ought to find someone we can... Like, I can send you off to someone else. That, that's raiding. So, since you redeemed that, you can actually... Choose who we raid... Or guide the raid, basically. So, if you point out... Oh, I could refund it. But... Let's change the title a bit. Wait. Oh, they're both asleep, though. Let me just refund that. <laughs> but thank you so much for the thought, Sanguine. Let me see if this works. Let me see if you get your points back. But yeah, that is what uh, this redeem is for. But I do like the creative use of it. Raid boss Maya and Passion. You should have your gold coins back if you wish to redeem that again. But I will allow you to... Well, you can see for yourself. Oh, the sleep. I have a better look at them. <laughs> peaceful but passion's not exactly the most glamorous sleeper anyway thank you for redeeming that sanguine I appreciate the spirit of it we will give the supervisor and the meow manager the pats they deserve once I notice they're up and about if you see they're out and about let me know because I'm sometimes so focused on the stream, I can't see them in my camera. Now that we relaxed on top of Mount Jogaku. Let us return to our campaign against the Mongols. safely and you were still here it was a treacherous climb but I've learned the way of the flame it's unruly and powerful my lord take care the flames do not burn you the way of the flame will only consume the Mongols that's what he said about the poison and the Mongols were able to manufacture our poison and use it against our own people so we're it's just escalating force on both sides. Purity of war. A warrior's un a warrior's unswerving resolution will bring victory. Not my thing. Izanami's grief 
The fire of a warrior's fury cannot be contained. It looks like an orange. <gasps> I'm, sticking, I'm sticking to my katanas. Can I talk to you? No? Very well, let us let us help Brother Norio. The guardian of Tsushima. Norio has returned to Kamiyagata to save his home temple from the Mongols. I should join him there. Where's the closest point? This should be it. On the bright side, Sanguine, you can split up those 3,000 coins to redeem six pets. See them on the road. Come and fight! The Sakai armor's good for. Hold still. You're free. Find a safe place and stay there. I won't get far, my lord. The Mongols hold the nearby road. They capture anyone who passes. Mm. Let me worry about those Mongols. I'll make sure you're safe from them. Oh, we do have a date deek point, but check this out. We actually don't have much to spend on anymore. Where's this rumored location? Alright, it's all the way there. Maybe we'll pass by with Norio. But, in terms of the techniques, look at this. We already got everything. This is probably unlocked in Iki Island, so we can't... We don't have it yet, I'm not sure. We could save it for that. Or we can continue... I'm, I'm left to just buying this exploration buffs so yeah sure let's buy this to guide us the fox dance honestly i have not really found any katanas that really strike my fancy save for the original one the sakai clan skin for the samurai just looks so good for me Where's Norio? There he is. What is this? Shot my horse. Had enough of that. Well, the ghost has come for your heads. going on here ghost you're preaching about the mongol cause 
You were praising the Mongols. Do they pay well for your services? If they refuse, they kill us. Mm. But the Guardian's brother will change that. What do you know about Norio? He's going to lead us to victory. I can take you to him. It is a difficult position, right? It's like, join us or we'll kill everyone you love and you know and love. And then we kill you. Quickly. This way, my lord. Does Norio know you're helping the Mongols? Until we take back Cedar Temple, he told us to keep cooperating. Oh. So they don't suspect us. I see. That doesn't sound like Norio. Really? But you inspire everything he does. He always talks about what he learned from the ghost. And what we learned from you, Nah. What are you doing back here, Joshua? I brought the ghost! And her uncle does not approve of us affiliating with Yuna. But yeah, we've come so far. Ever since Yuna saved our life, we learned the way of the ghost. Stealth, subterfuge, assassination. All of these things my uncle absolutely hates. It isn't the samurai way. Norio is inside with the others. Norio. You gathered allies. Lord Sakai. Everyone, give me a moment to speak with Lord Sakai. You arrived just in time. This way. I hear you're planning to take back Cedar Temple. We've been training hard. They're ready. I recognize some faces here. From Akashima. I sent messengers to Kushi Temple, but no one came. After all we did there. We can free Cedar Temple without them. Hmm. Let's do it. Is that the temple? You think these people can take back the temple? We could handle it on our own. Why risk their lives? Cedar Temple can be a beacon for all of Tsushima. Everyone who takes part in the attack will be a messenger of hope. We can't carry this message alone. This victory has to be theirs. When do we ride, Norio? At dawn, my lord. We ride at dawn. We ride for Cedar Temple with the ghost! Let us become the ghost. When you took Castle Canada, you did it without the samurai. You must have had doubts going in. I had my doubts. I wasn't sure we could take Canada until it was done. I feel the same without my brother and his men by my side. I wish Enjo was here with us. His spirit is. That place is familiar. Oh, right. That place. They were selling people to the Mongols. Villager turned on villager. It wasn't a pretty sight. Those who resisted were slain and stuffed in a storage room next to the whale meat. Oh, she's cheering. You have supporters, Norio. They remember the Guardian. And they know why we ride for Cedar Temple. They're fortunate you fight for them. Ooh. We should get off the road. This way. The temple is just ahead, through the cedars. Are they holding any monks hostage? No. One reason I told them to cooperate, reduce their risk when we attack. Good thinking. Good. 
We're getting close. Breathe, Norio. You can't fight if you hold your breath. <laughs> How could you tell? I know you well enough by now, my friend. How long has it been since I've known these people? Ooh, the waves. Hey, more people. The raiding party? Norio, and the ghost. We came as soon as we could. It's good to have Kushi Temple with us. Cedar Temple, Akashima, and Kushi stand together as one. You'll attack through the main gate? Yes. Draw the Mongols' attention while the others flank. What do you want me? My lord, this may be my plan, but you should fight as you see fit. All of you, follow me. Stay close. Hey, let's... Try a stealth approach? Why not? We are in our garb after all. Let's go with these people and through the flanks. Yeah. There they are. Not much cover on the way there. There is some pampas grass over there, but attacking anyone in the lake will alert them. Not one of you will die today. Everyone who falls will live forever in history. Oh, what? <laughs> no stealth then. Here we go. Alright. Let's pinch let's pinch them. Last one. They have a watcher. I'll get it. Is there a way around here? Maybe from up there. You guys work fast. Look at that. Ain't that familiar, Sanguine? Wow. You don't even need me. Look at these angry warrior monks. Kill them all.
still want to fight? More of them. Lost a bunch, but they fought well. The temple is yours. The last time I was here, my brother, Hochi, the abbot, they were all alive. Starting today, you can rebuild. Come with me to the main hall. I have to make sure the Mongols did no lasting damage. This way, my lord. You're at full strength and suddenly, like, there's only a few left. Norio! Lord Sakai! What's wrong? Do not go inside the main hall. Get a hold of yourself. Whatever the Mongols destroyed, we can rebuild. Why do I have a... Hmm. The hall looks fine from the outside. I hear flies. Nothing damaged or stolen. <laughs> Norio. Angel. Angel? Oh, what the hell? <gasps> You're alive. I took you out of the pit. I, I thought. Mongols promised to spare you. If I told them everything. I'm here, Angel. It's all right now. <laughs> I told them about the Abbey. Ochi. Kuchitsera. Hirakashima. It doesn't matter. Good timing with the tune. His name is Kharcho, the one who burned my brother and cut off his limbs. This Kharcho, 
He's among the dead. Not yet. Mm. Ryo, your brother was the Guardian. He died a hero. No, he didn't. I can find out where this Mongol coward is. But then I'll need your help. You'll have it. The last quest for his arc. When the snow lets up, we'll hold the funeral. Charm of Resistance 3. Oh, I don't even use that. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, don't I have it on another armor set? Oh, okay, I really don't use it. <laughs> I go for more a, a DPS build, actually. The Threefold World. This threefold world. We held funeral rites for Enjo the Guardian, Norio's older brother. I should see how Norio's doing. My lord, can I help you? I'm looking for Norio. I'm looking for Norio. Where is he? He brought his brother's ashes to a cemetery. It's in the hills to the south. I'll look for him there. Thank you. Is this our horse? Ooh, that wasn't my horse. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Sora. Guardian's Ridge. Hiya! What a nice temple. Oh. Damn it. There's no gate here. I'll see you on the other, si on the other side, Roach. There we go, you made it. the river yeah. predator hides oh yeah Needed for upgrades. There we go. A nice view. White smoke is, I guess. This 
cemetery. Norio should be here. Probably crickets nearby. Thank you. 12 out of 20. Singing crickets. Go we'll climb all the way out here just to bury the dead. And this Norio. Angel's urn. He liked the open air better than the pagoda at Cedar Temple. The Mongol you're looking for, Harcho. Have you found him? He's not far from here. Norio, Cedar Temple needs your leadership. This comes first. Revenge is not the first duty of a monk. Before I was a monk, I was a brother. Don't do this alone. Let me help. If you wish. Well, that... <laughs> Where do we find him? Fort Shoni. You're sure he's the one responsible? When I find him, he will pray for a quick death and his cries will go unheard. Hmm. Revenge if the situation were reversed, I have a feeling Enjo would forego revenge. If it were reversed, I'd be dead, and the Guardian would live. Tsushima would be better off. Go back to see the temple. Let me take care of this. You're not talking me out of it. I don't want you to become... Like what? You? Like oh. so many others who have been changed by this war. It's far too late for that, my lord. Hmm. Some good lines. There's a spot down here where you can see the fort. I put everything you taught me to good use tracking Kharsho. What does he look like? Like every other murdering, honorless Mongol dog. You may Ouch. only get one chance at him. I'll know him when I see him. When you have him in your sights, strike without delay. Dogs, get away from there! Norio! Please! We were just hungry! Spare us! We're leaving! Oh, hey, man. Norio, they weren't a threat. Maybe. They're definitely not now. They should have known better. <laughs> I see Norio has also fallen on the Advance dark side. Advance and reach Nirvana. Retreat and find hell. What's that from? A prayer Enjo inscribed on this Naginata. Oh. After he saved Kushi Temple from bandits. And became the guardian. He suffered more than either of us know. But he held on so he could see you. Do you know what his last words to me were? I was wrong. About what? I'll never know. Oh. Ouch. 
Harsho's last words will be a howl of pain. We should get some rest, Nuriel, for tomorrow. You're right, my lord. I'll save my strength for Karcho. Can't get out of my head. This would be the type of campaigns I think you'd run, Sanguine. Muriel. Oh god. Where is he? He went on without me. Damn it. Damn you, Norio. The fort is in flames. What did Norio do? All right. First, when I saw him, I thought my prayers were answered, but... Return to see the temple. I'll handle this. Oh, no. No, I don't want to have to kill Norio. What? Hey. Seek refuge in the Amida Buddha. Whoa. Who did this? He's lost his mind. Damn it. Shit. This is but this is what I do. You do not have the courage to do it. Burn! Burn for your crimes, butcher! Wow. You once told me you would never swing your Naginata in hatred. I did what the ghost would do. And now Harsho is gone. I'm not going back to see the temple. Not after this. Where will you go? It doesn't matter. He was still alive when I lit the wood. When he screamed, it filled me with joy. And I would do it again. I'm no longer a monk. You don't get to give up. We all have regrets and broken promises. But this island needs you. The last warrior monk of Cedar Temple. I can't go back to what I was before this. Don't I'm not asking you to go back. I'm asking you to keep your faith and move forward. Thank you, Jin. I'll see you at Cedar Temple. We have a common enemy, Sanguine. And what... <laughs> Who's Jin to do that? Jin poisoned an entire encampment. Jin set hundreds of them on fire. He's killed way more than Norio ever has. Did I enjoy it? Well, I don't know. I didn't. But it felt good keeping her home safe. Preferred by those who sow confusion and fear in the ranks of their enemies. Ooh. Wow, hey, this looks good on, with this armor. But now I'll keep the stag helm. Ooh, ooh, record. Oh, artifact. Soldier supplies. Nomadic Mongol tribes only travel with what is immediately needed. 
a practice aided by their ability to live largely off the land. Beyond the weapons necessary for conquest, Mongol soldiers often travel packed with sundries like fish hooks and other tools useful for maintaining a varied and flexible diet. Wow. Traveling light. I could never do that. You see this? This could have. This was me. All of this. He's no different than I am. He's no different than a lot. What a lot of people have become in these times. It's hard to maintain your lines and your thresholds when you're at war like this. Let's help our last ally, Sensei Ishikawa. We're finally gonna hunt down his wayward student, Tomoe. And we're gonna get to the truth. Who's telling a lie? Oh, I think they're both lying. Ishikawa and Tomoe. And the truth is somewhere in between. Friends in passing. Sensei Ishikawa believes Tomoe is somewhere in the northern reaches of Kamiyagata. When I'm there, I should help his hunt for Tomoe. We have stuff at the gift altar and the trapper. Sakai, we need to talk. We'll talk after I upgrade. Do you need a new quiver or a satchel? I hope I have what you're looking for. Incendiary oil, sticky bomb. That's all I can give you right now. That's right, we forgot we had this wave. We haven't had an opportunity to use it yet, but I would like more oil capacity. An excellent choice. I can upgrade wind chime and firecracker. I'll save my hides. I'll see you again. May your hunt be successful. Sakai. We need to talk. I'll get stuff from the gift altar. Get back to you. Anything? I already exhausted your dialogue, I guess. Alright, let's do this. What's your student up to now? When I was your age, people said I was the next Tadayori Nagao. You're the best archer we've ever had. Yeah, not even close. But I'm damn good. <laughs> and I'm grateful for everything you taught me. I was so dedicated to my study. I never made time for a family. Tomoe was to be my heir. Her crimes. I could not forgive her. No samurai would. I devoted my life to the bow. The life it gave me was remarkable. But the life it took from me. Family is more important. Sensei? Don't become like me. Don't let the ghost consume you. Mm. Hey, the Moe is somewhere in Kamiyagata. A last-ditch effort to rally the Mongols and restore her reputation. If she's here, we will find her. And end this. Yes, we will. Man. Be swift. Join Ishikawa's hunt for Tomoe in Eastern Jogaku. Sensei Ishikawa believes Tomoe is somewhere in the northern reaches of Kamigata. When I'm there, I should help him hunt Tomoe. Okay. 
near spot to travel is oh it could be any of these let's come down from twilight's edge I'll be right back. Hold up. I'm gonna have to clear this roadblock. Let's see if we can get it in one go. It's hard to see in the tall grass. Hey, black armor. You're next. Be the last one. Saver. You're going to be all right. This is a miracle. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. Please, this is for you. Another technique point. We can probably get the last wind guidance upgrade. Should be it for now. Until, of course, we get something new. Probably an Iki Island. Predator hides. Silence, stealth mostly. No traveler's attire. Mongol convoy. Wiped out. By who? Did Tomoe turn against them? All shot in the back. Probably ambushed. Burn the cart. Flaming arrows. tracks Japanese arrows Lord Shimura's men Japanese archers did this likely a group unless Sensei Ishikawa has been here <gasps> please excuse me my lord it's a bad idea to sneak up on me. I thought you were with the man who killed these Mongols. He was samurai, but older. An archer? Sensei Ishikawa. 
Where is he? He said he'd come back to my house in a day or two. Why your house? I have food, a fire. Whatever his business was, it seemed urgent. It's possible he picked up Tomoe's trail. Where's your house? Not far, but there's a storm coming, and I need to check my snares first. Then I can take you there. Fine, I'll Sus. go with you. What's your name? Matsu, my lord. Are you Tomoe unmasked? Oh my god, I just saw it now with Corgo. What exactly did Sensei Ishikawa tell you? Nothing more, my lord. He wasn't the friendliest man. Sounds about right. I never talked to a real samurai. War brings unlikely people together. It's my chance to ask a really good question. Don't mess it up. <laughs> What's it like to hold the power of Life and death in your hands. It's humbling. It's a heavy responsibility. But you secretly enjoy it. Only a monster would enjoy it. That's not the answer I expected. Wait, is this Tomoe? It's just because we all—all all we've seen of Tomoe is with her in her mask. There. One of my snares. Check it quickly. I don't want to miss Ishikawa. I don't... Well, we'll see what's happening. Like, is this really Ishikawa? Why would he... meet her at her house? Damn. Empty. Have to reset it. You might have more luck hunting. Oh, I could never do that. So awful. Maybe try different bait. My bait never changes. What do you use? The illusion of opportunity. There's your problem. What? That only works on men. <laughs> oh. This way, my lord. <laughs> Jin, stop it! It's not easy surviving up here. It's hard everywhere. I fled north when the Mongols came. Alone? My parents died when I was a girl. Been on my own ever since. Your family must be very important. My oh, uncle is no. Lord Shimura. Wait. You're the one people talk about. The ghost. <sighs> but you're not ten feet tall with eyes like a demon. The ghost is a useful story. No. But the stories frighten the enemy. So that's it? It's just rumors and exaggeration? <sighs> to fight them, I've had to do things I would have frowned on before. We all have. Dante, hey, welcome back, man. Thanks for the raid. We're just getting into it right now. No, I see what's going on here, Sanguine. I see what's going on here. Sensei Ishikawa. <sighs> the reason why he wants to meet this girl at her home is to probably take her under his wing. He, I think he wants to try again. Hey, thank you so much again for the raid, Dante. And yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome raiders. Uh, well, this is Tabletop Cinema. Welcome to the table. If you haven't been here before, I am a variety streamer. And this and today, every Saturday, we play Ghost of Tsushima. We're actually at part 10 of our first playthrough. And we're nearing the end. The main quest, at least. So we're just helping out Sensei Ishikawa before pushing on with the main quest. Currently, we're in the middle of it. And if you haven't heard about Ishikawa, we've been hunting down his wayward, well, kind of adoptive daughter, apprentice to the way of the bow, who, for some reason or the other, betrayed him and started teaching the Mongols, the invaders, the way of the bow. So we've been trying to hunt her down. Uh, her crimes are already beyond punishment, as far as we can tell. And I think it's all about Sensei Ishikawa find. This is all about helping Sensei Ishikawa find closure, letting go of that. And Sanguine, I think... Yeah, this may be, this is probably not Tomoe, but this girl probably reminds Sensei Ishikawa of Tomoe. And he has it in his head that he just talked to us about wanting an heir. 
right? Oh, he thought Tomoe would be his heir. He, he thought, he, he, in a way, you know, he kind of trapped her in that sense. Like, he gave her everything, expecting that he would, she would succeed him. But in the end, Tomoe just turned out to be using him to her advantage. We don't know the full story yet, but that's what I'm suspecting. Matsu here. Sensei, she lost her. She says she lost her parents. She's on her own. And I think Sensei Ishikawa might want to. Well, we'll see. You know what this reminds me of, though, Sanguine? Look, what? They're stealing my catch. Drive them off, my lord. Please. Wait here. Oh. It reminds me of the end of Witcher 3. Starving. Anyway. Hmm. So you're the ones to stole the catch earlier. Wait, how's it going, Dante? How's, how's, how's streaming going? Hey! Congratulations on affiliate, Please by the way. Please don't hurt us, my lord! That's not yours. Uh, we are sorry. It's just a squirrel. We have eaten grass and tree bark for days. Take it and go. Thank you, my lord. You let them escape. We thought dinner. They were starving. And no threat. Doesn't sound like the ghost I've heard about. Not all the stories about me are true. Blizzard is almost on us. How many more traps do you have? Just one. But it's hunt. farther away. We can hunt more food for you, because I don't want you to starve. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Uh, I think I'll have to wait for a sale on that. Because I must admit, I'm not familiar with the Guardians. It's actually the movie. That got me to really love the Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'll probably wait for a sale. But I, I am hearing good things about it. Glad you're enjoying Guardians. Especially after the whole Avengers debacle. Avengers started strong. I did play it. I did love the first few hours. And then it just got weird. No one will believe I talked to you. What's it like to be the ghost? It's a group effort. The stories are stories. Without allies and friends, I'd be dead. You're just saying that. I owe my life to many others, from the lady of Clan Adachi to a thief. People may not tell their stories, but I would not be here without them. I really like this segment, actually. We should get back soon. I don't want to miss Sensei Ishikawa. The last trap is just a little farther, my lord. No, because we don't often get a chance to really reconcile with the legend of the ghost. So the common folk have started looking up to Jin Sakai as the ghost of Tsushima. The titular ghost of Tsushima, roll credits. But it's equal parts fear and equal parts hope. It's a myth that Yuna conjured up and it started to grow beyond us. So this may be the legacy that we're leaving. But we never really had a chance to hear from other people. Aside from all the exaggerated stories, this is the first yeah. time someone is actually asking hungry. for clarification for the truth. Yeah, Dante, it is so it is so upsetting for me because the story started so well, this? honestly. Dinner. You got something? We might eat like civilized people after all. All right, let's meet Ishikawa. What's up there? The mainland. No Mongols, no war. Somewhere I can start over. Say you make it to the mainland. What then? In Kyoto, I'll open a fancy inn. Learn to play the shamisen. Welcome the undying parade of beautiful men and women. While my servants rob them blind. <laughs> Sounds like Kyoto's in trouble. It's snowing harder. We should go. Maybe your sensei will be waiting for us. Could this be the new begin the new start for Sensei Ishikawa? Is it right for Sensei Ishikawa to keep looking for like an heir? But this is super sus. I have a feeling that's Tomoe, right in front of us. Or I don't know. I I'm just I'm so suspicious right now. But this is such a great thing right now. Like is this intentional? The weather. Us following her shadow like this, her silhouette. The 
weather's getting worse. Stay close. If I get any closer, we'll have to share a horse. What was that? Never mind. Keep going. Jin. I swear, Jin is so smitten by this one. Have you ever played? Go <laughs> well, I guess, but hey, Donny, have you ever played Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, hey, yeah, no problem, man. Uh, I was glad to follow. That's how I found out about. Mongols! Ooh. That's how I found out about. Are uh, you using affiliate again? Yeah, <laughs> congratulations on that. It's just with the whole time zone thing. I've, I think I wake up by the time you're done streaming. What is I going to do? Sakai clan armor. To the house. I'll deal with him. Stay back. Looking for me? Looking for me? Next. Finally, you. No wonder they tell stories about you. Where's your house? Not far. Come on. Yep, it's my first time playing Tsushima and K Margs again. Welcome back. Well, thank you again for another raid. Oh, you guys. I don't know, it's just like some... No, I, I don't know if you've met Dante, but you guys kind of raid around the same time. Thank you so much. Welcome, raiders. How's it going? And we're here with another game. Uh, well, different one this time. A, a very different pace from yesterday. Uh, well, you know, I was scared shitless last night, but now... Well, we're in Tsushima. This is my first playthrough. Welcome, Raiders. If it's your first time here in Tabletop Cinema, hi, how's it going? I am Mikey, and I'm a variety streamer and Tabletop RPG Game Master and freelance filmmaker, but I've been trying to generate content here on Twitch, and I've just been so grateful for the support and people like you raiding and giving it a shot. So hope you enjoy your stay, pull up a chair by the fire, and welcome to the table. Uh, as I was saying, this is my first playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima, I didn't get to experience this game last year, and I am... It is so good. Like, in terms of gameplay, I, I definitely love the gameplay. I wasn't expecting much from it. The story, the characters are starting to grow on me, even if we're at the tail end of the story. But yeah, spoiler warning, if you have not played this game, we are already nearing the end, I believe, of the main quest. We might be able to get it today. But... Here we are. Let's get inside. For now, we're helping out the last of her allies, Sensei Ishikawa, master of the way of the bow, whose student betrayed him and started teaching the Mongols, the invaders, the way of the bow. So we've come to stop her. But over time, it's gotten a bit it's gotten so much more complicated than that, and we're gonna find out now. Thank you for the follow, Frosty Rune. You seem too kind to be the ghost. But the way you killed those Mongols. I do what I have to for Tsushima. The truth is, we're both survivors. We have darkness in us. This is Tomoe, isn't it? If we didn't, we'd be dead. Sensei Shikawa said something similar. This is Tomoe. But it sounds more natural coming from you, Tomoe. Yeah, there we go. Ishikawa always said I underestimate my opponents. I don't have an arrow in my back. Why not? The Mongols turned against me. After you trained them to slaughter our people. A mistake I tried to fix. But I can't kill all my archers. Not at all. You need me. Mm. And the sensei. Leading me on. I don't need you. I know where they'll attack next. We can ambush them together. You get a victory, I get revenge. I'll talk it over with Sensei Shikawa. Jing. You can stay the night. No. No. No, Tomoe. I can't. 
can hear the disappointment in his voice. Sanguine. Oh man, thank you for all those redeems, Frosty Rune. Yeah, I keep forgetting to hydrate. God damn. Alright, yeah, we called it right. That was Tomoe. <laughs> if you're wondering what the hell is going on, that, that was Tomoe who... Until now, we've seen her in a mask. She had many opportunities to kill us, but decided not to, and... She may still be trying to manipulate us against our sensei. Because we're still, we just still don't have the full story. Why she betrayed her sensei. It got so personal at some point. And Ishikawa, I like how it was written because they never actually gave you the full story. And they always made sure to end each arc with Sensei Ishikawa. You know, you, the realization that, Sensei, you're hiding something from me again. So they're trying to build this mistrust for your own Sensei. Because time and time again, he's proven to not tell you the full story. So Tomoe uses that against you. And she, you expect her to shoot you in the back. But instead, she tells you, your Sensei's been lying to you this whole time. So, yeah. She's she's smart. She's wily. And we're gonna need all the water we can get if we're gonna go after the Mongols again. For now, we have a common enemy. And for now, we're gonna have to work together. Sensei Shikawa is not gonna like this. At all. But, let's put on our hunting gear. As the ghost of Tsushima. Can I go back and talk to Tomoe? I just like getting the dialogue. Be going? Well, I guess not. You see the whole thing now, like about oh, I want to open an inn in in at Kyoto and start a new life and everything. And really, how do you... It's all been difficult choices here. Like, when invaders come into your home, threaten everything you know and love. Kill your loved ones right in front of you. And force you to make a choice. Join or die. Like, how far can you go? If you're so... If you're unable to resist the stronger foe, if you're unable to do so, do you... Sacrifice yourself hoping that others would do the same, then what would you be what would you be left with? You'd be left with a pile of dead bodies and people who cooperate. And it's so difficult. And there are all sorts of other things that I'm glad this you know has Jin gone too far as the ghost. And at this part of the story, we're actually wanted by your uncle. Wanted in the sense that he imprisoned us. For poisoning an entire Mongol encampment, breaking the samurai code. He does not agree with us becoming the ghosts and using these methods against them. Stealth, subterfuge, manipulation, assassination, poison. And now we're getting our just desserts. The Mongol got a hand of our poison and has used it against our own people. Nobody wins. So all we have left are the few allies by our side, and we're going to help them. Tomoe in there. She's the one I've been trying to hunt down. And Sensei Shikao is not gonna like the fact that we let her live. Whoop. Where is he? Alright, let's have a word with him. Sensei Ishikawa's planning to shelter at the peasant's house nearby. I'll stay with her so I can speak with the Sensei about the hunt for Tomoe. Plot twist, that was Tomoe. Okay. All oh, right, there you are. Okay. So, Sakai, come on. You have news? Something like that. Like nothing's happened. I spoke with Tomoe. She's hiding in the north. The Mongols turned against her. If you saw her, why is she still alive? Her archers are preparing a massive attack. She wants the three of us to wipe them out. Or she needs both our heads to get back in the Mongols' favor. She could have killed me, Sensei, but she didn't. <laughs> she turned you against me. I have never been rewarded 
for trusting Tomoe. I don't trust her. But we need what she knows. And I believe she needs our help. Then she's a fool. And we finish this. We're lucky you came. Are we just gonna stab her in the back? Look, I don't really want it to happen with Jin and Yuna, but I don't know if the writing is trying to bleed in that direction. I refuse to lose hope. I don't know, maybe he'll end up with Yuna. I have no idea. Charm of Fortune 2, utility charm. Where do you have this? Do we have this? Yeah, we do. Oh, no, Charm of Fortune 1 only. Yes, that's an upgrade. But why is it the same? Is this a typo? It's like, uh, number one, 50% chance more likely, but two is the same. Oh, well, maybe because... Well, I don't know. I'll just equip it anyway. Let's make sure all our armor sets are updated before heading out. And put on our traveling attire. And let's continue with the quest. Wait, that's it? That's it? Wait! Well, oh there, late to rest. I thought we couldn't finish Sensei Shikawa's tale today. Late to rest. The Mongol archers Tomoe trained are planning a surprise attack somewhere. Tomoe has enlisted Sensei Ishikawa and I to help her stop them. I'm not sure I trust her, but this could be her chance to end the destruction she and her Mongol allies have caused. Time to meet her at the Ubogi border. Closest point would be this. Cross the bridge, meet Ishikawa. No. Or, well, they're all, they're all around the same distance. Hmm. All right. Yeah, but how's it going, everyone? What did you guys end up streaming, Dante, K. Marks? Did he just end your streams today? Well, I mean, he, obviously, the raid from the... Never mind. <laughs> More Eternal, I guess? I did change the control scheme in Eternal. I tried it out, by the way. So next Thursday, I'm excited to try out the new control scheme for Eternal. Bumpers for life. You have word from Tomoe? The three of us will meet. Then she'll reveal where and when her archers plan to attack. You think she'll tell us the truth? We'll find out. And Sakai, there will be no room for error. I came prepared, Sensei. Let's go. I feel like we're walking to another trap. You know, maybe, maybe it's because Tomoe didn't want the Bikki Bee's heir. Where are we headed? North of Umugi Cove. She sent word to meet at an old gambling den. Might be a good spot for an ambush. We have the advantage. The Mongols turned against her. She is desperate. Desperate enemies are dangerous. Because they are unpredictable. But Tomoe has two choices. Enlist our help or betray us. You spent time with her. What do you think? I can't trust Tomoe. She didn't attack me in Jogaku. But that could be a trick to lower your guard. We're prepared for treachery. If she doesn't ambush us, we hear her out. And if this planned attack is real, we cooperate. After that, we'll deal with her. She betrayed her people. She will answer for it. She has killed too many. Does it play like the Avengers, Dante? Because that's that is my worry, that it'd be too much like the Avengers, but. The reviews I'm seeing about Guardians, surprisingly positive. Because, okay, yeah, the campaign of Avengers, the first half was strong. So I could see a line of game similar to that. What will you say when you see her? I have nothing to say to Tomoe. You don't want answers? You haven't spoken since she joined the enemy. Any chance of talking ended the moment she turned on me. Man, 
That's tough. I'm getting close. Eyes open. We go on foot from here. Yep, this does not look good. All these spots for enemy archers. We're walking right into a. F their, ugh. Nice. I heard it is kind of like Final Fantasy 15, actually. In terms of combat. But I always had fun playing squad leader. A lot of places to hide archers here. Alright, let me dress for the occasion here. That's the gambling den. No Mongols that we can see. Stop here. That outcropping to the right. I'll position myself there. And you. Hey, hey. Hey. If I was here to kill you, you'd already be dead. <laughs> you should wait out here. Not a chance. Stay alert. She's good. Yeah, the one with Noctis. Um, I've only played like the first few hours since I just got the PlayStation. But yeah, you know, the the fluidity of just your your allies all around you, giving them a command to do a special ability. Yeah, that's what I've been seeing on the gameplay videos, which seems pretty fun. I do like having a squad to order around. That's why I super enjoyed uh, Republic Commando. And what's the oh shoot? What's that World War Two game where the super, the huge emphasis? It's not Band of Brothers. That's the series. But anyway, it, it's the first person tactical shooter. Sensei. Yes. Tomoe? Always so sure of yourself. The one thing you never had to teach me. Your archers are planning an attack. Where and when? Umugi Cove. Heading there now. Why tell us? The Khan betrayed me. I'm taking my archers away. And if we don't help you stop them, they'll wipe out Umugi Cove. I don't believe you. Mm. Do nothing. And watch what happens. Damn it. The Mongols followed me. Damn you, Tomoe. All right, fine. Work together. Come back here. It's so awkward. Not at all. They don't seem very friendly at all. Ishikawa's fallen. Ah, oh, Sensei. Everything of this world dies. So bad. <laughs> no more traps to Moe. This wasn't a trap. It's so it's, it's so hard to trust her after everything she's done. And now that they turn against her, she comes crawling back. I don't know. Frosty Rune, thank you again. She fought hide, right? back against the Mongols, Sensei. To deceive us, so we lower our guard. If I want to put an arrow in you, 
There's nothing you can do to stop me. Enough. Umugi Cove could be under attack. We need to move. Fine. But if Tomoe even breathes wrong, I'll put her in the dirt. Both of you. This way. Saving Umugi Cove won't make amends for your crimes, Tomoe. They forced me to teach your way of the bow. Did they force you to kill your own people at Fort Nakayama? They were being tortured. I offered a quick, painless death. Oh. And the Mongols spared me. I won't apologize for surviving. That's why she was talking about being a survivor. Well, as Matsu. Mongol patrol. I've got you. One behind the bush. No, it wasn't Company of Hero Sanguine. That's the RDS. The one with Battle on Hill 30. Brothers in arms. The there we go. Now I remember. If they see us headed for Umugi Cove, Tomoe's archers could be alerted. Agreed. We should stay off the roads. Thank you for dropping by, Dante, and thank you again for the raid. Always appreciate it. Have a good night. <laughs> Take care. And you guys are always welcome at the table if you want to just hang out and I'll be playing more games every week. We'll see you for the next one. And I'll try to catch you. In case I'm awake. But thanks so much again, and take care. Cut through this field. How did you find my camp in Akashima? Your people attacked me. We tracked them. I told them to avoid you two. I had plans for a dozen more camps. I'm glad they ignored your orders. I lost control. By the time we set up in Kushi, I wasn't in charge. More ahead. A lot more. Take them. I don't know what to trust anymore. Archers first. The trees at the end of the field. We can rest there, out of sight. Tomoe, you said you lost control of the Mongols in Kushi, but a woman saw you there with them. A woman you burned alive. That was not my doing. Not with your bow, but you trained her killers. Most of the time, I convinced them to spare lives, not take them. Hmm. And this is what happens if you survive too long to see your own... to see the effects of your actions. She did teach these people. Now they're using it against her. Over here! Get down! The Mongols are out in force. They're hunting me. I thought I lost them. Didn't think to mention that earlier. I'm mentioning it now. Wait here until nightfall. We can use the darkness to our advantage. Will they attack the cove before then? No. They'll position archers. Make sure no one gets out. Plan their slaughter. Get some rest. I'll keep watch. Okay. Sun's down. Ready? Now we can use stealth. Tomoe, you're in front. The sensor and I will follow. 
So you can stab me in the back? If the Mongols spot you first, we get out of sight and drop them. Let's Stay go. Stay close. Don't let her out of your sight, Sakai. I can hear you, Sensei. Good. <laughs> Slay, stay with Ishikawa and Tamoe. Don't let the Mongols see us. Mongol lookouts ahead. Jing, you take one. I'll take the other. This series is reminding so much of ah, uh, what's that in Modern Warfare? What's that mission with Price? One of my favorite missions in any first-person shooter. The ghillie up. Snipers, ghillie suit, all of this. Sorry, who am I supposed to kill? The one on the right. Got it. More on the way. Hide yourselves. Dagoro, not dead. O sudden, in the sonor serem steba. I stood up. Don't miss, Sensei. Oh, this is so awkward. You saw that. You changed your form too. I shift the right hand up. So when you use. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, they're becoming friends again. That's <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> uh, you like stood up by accident. What is that? They're talking about like changing form and adjusting. I guess that's supposed to mean something like they're changing with the times. There's always room for improvement. Nobody said this would be easy. We get in a fight here. Your archers will be alerted. Start the attack before we reach the cove. We can't risk it. What do you think, Sakai? Follow my lead. Don't fall behind. All right, here we go. Let's not embarrass ourselves. It's the ghost. Shit, that's a lot of them. Let's try and catch some people along the sides. Flanks. <clears throat> This is gonna be challenging. Not much cover. Shit. Are they just scared of me? <laughs> That's so awkward. The pursuit of mastery, indeed, Sanguine. Okay, that was embarrassing. Find a way through the bog. Oh, I'm not supposed to be killing them. I'm supposed to be finding a way through the bog. My bad. All right, then. Supposed to be heading there. Yep. Pampas grass. Straight up ahead. My archers. 
The moment we attack, they'll retreat into town. Use it to defend against us. Innocent people will die. See the barrels in their carts? I'll circle behind. One flaming arrow. Once you shoot, they'll be on you. If you stay back in the tree line... I might miss. I need to get close. Let might me undo miss. the damage I've done. Go. Hmm. Okay. You trust her? I trust her desire for revenge. That's a good way of putting it. So Where's that's she? how she stayed one step ahead of us. You taught her well, Sensei. I know. Get ready. No! Explosive arrows. Where's the bow? Bow! Fire! Anyway. Let's get this out of the way. Whoa! Wide sweeps. You're right to be terrified. Each kill. Run. Or not. Ah, oh, man. That wasn't entirely smooth, but hey. We did it. I was busy, like, getting used to all the... There's a lot of stuff to switch through, okay? Make sure we're on the right. Explosive arrow didn't work. Black powder bomb. Right, we forgot we had Weight of Flame as well. We have a lot of toys to play around with. That's what makes this fun. So, where's Tomoe? Not bad, Sakai. Where's Tomoe? I don't know. Was she wounded? Tomoe! She's gone. Near the end of the fight. I saw her by the archway over there. That leads straight into Umugi Cove. If any Mongols try to retreat that way... Maybe she gave chase. Is she gonna make it out? Tomoe knows that killing her archers won't erase her crimes. But she got her revenge. Is that all she got? She fought alongside us. That will mean something once we defeat the enemy. Forget the Mongols. What does she want in Umugi Cove? There's not much here besides thieves and cutthroats. Damn it, and smugglers. She needs a boat to get off the island. We out. You there? Yes, my lord. Did you see a woman run through here? A warrior. She was headed for the beach. Hmm. This way! Don't let Tomoe get off the island. Tomoe played us fools. She helped save Umugi Cove. The Mongols were hunting her. We gave her safe passage to a way off the island. We're always one step behind. But there's still time to stop. Well, maybe she was wounded. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait. Oh shit. You could fire that arrow and, and just end it. Sensei Ishikawa, we have judged each other harshly, but the Buddha tells us that our greatest enemies 
and they are our best teachers. I am grateful for your teaching and for the chance to fight by your side. The final time I have been your student, I would have become your daughter. But the way of the bow is behind me now. What lies ahead? I am like an arrow shot from a bow. Who knows where the wind will take me? It's over. Maybe she'll reach Kyoto after all. If she were anyone else, I'd say that's impossible. We still have a war to finish. A home to rebuild. I have no more lessons to give in this life. Except one. Promise me, you won't repeat my mistakes. I promise, Sensei. So there's just one misunderstanding after another. But... Oh, man. All she did was try to survive, but at what cost? Shattered Mask of Tomoe. Worn by a legendary archer. Once an enemy, but no longer. Cool. Midnight Shark. Half bow die. Hmm. Let's stick to my red. Don't get sentimental, Sakai. Are you telling that to me or yourself, Sensei? Well. Don't leave. get sentimental, Sakai. <laughs> you should tell yourself that, Sensei. And now, for Gathering Storm. For that, I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick. Be right back. Alright, it's time for a gathering storm. Yuna, Ishikawa, Masako, Norio, everyone is gathered at Jogaku Temple, even Kenji. I can't let them down. I should check on Yuna. We need to plan our attack against the Khan stronghold in Port Izumi. Is this the beginning of the end? Well, I don't know what to think about it. I have mixed feelings about Tomoe, chat, as a survivor. If we are to take everything at face value, yeah, there's a bunch of misunderstandings. They did judge, they did judge each other too harshly. Tomoe tried her best, given her situation. Continue on the path the Buddha has granted you. At the same time, she could have just. This is a great honor, my lord. I don't know. 
Our options with her are either to just keel over and die. Or survive and try to help the people. But no. Mongols turned against her. Now she's gone. How can I help others when I am consumed with my own pain? Where are they? Oh, there they are. It's Yuna? good to have some extra hands around here. Better force their retreat by winter. Let's do this. How are the others? Ready to follow wherever you lead. The sensei told them you're the only person on Tsushima who can kill the Khan. I can't do it alone. Or without a plan of attack. We know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense. How to get past them. And where to find the Khan. Sounds like we need a hawk's view of the place. I know where we can get one. We'll have cover of darkness if we leave now. Mm, cutscene time. Port Izmi. We'll have a better view from the lighthouse. Just need to get up there. Without being noticed. Let's move. Stealth mission go. Alright, shouldn't be too bad. Reach the lighthouse, don't get spotted. Why would the Khan come up here? He'll sail for our mainland. Attack it, just like you did here. This is our last chance to stop him. Well, he filled it. The same ones I used to make my poison. Oh. Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did we do the right thing at your uncle's castle? Mm, let's go full. It was necessary. I took a risk, and my poison saved thousands. What if it kills thousands more? We have to stop the Khan before it comes to that. You're right. We need to kill him. Soon. What? What's with the yelling? We can't get in the front, but we could climb around the cliff. And sneak in through the back. Lead the way. Here we go. Whoops. Come back here. Didn't jump far enough. Oh, right. I have the upgrade there. If they pick up the wind chime, they get poisoned. And that terrifies these people. Well, that worked. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Safe to climb up. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Poison. What's in all these barrels? Supplies? Flowers. Poison. One barrel holds enough to kill hundreds. Khan will use this against the mainland. We can't let him leave Tsushima. We'll scout Port Izumi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. No more That's a lot of barrels. It's gonna kill thousands. Was it our fault? Look at the waves. They're flat. You see before a storm. That could work to our advantage. For now, we'll leave the lighthouse dark. Make sure the mobiles can't use it when the storm hits. We can relight it once they're gone. Let's get a look at the port. Over here. Let's find our plan of attack. See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm. Preparing to fly inland for shelter. In the historical invasion, the storm did mess the Mongols up. We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Ah, Kota would send horsemen to outflank us. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. That ridge has an open sightline to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships if we had our own watchers. Hmm. Maybe we can commandeer a watcher. Harbor Master's estate. Khan may have taken it for himself. Close to the docks and his fleet. Makes sense. Khan is almost ready to sail for our mainland. With ships full of men, explosives, and my poison. If we don't stop him here, the Shogunate will fall. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Destroy his ships and everything on them. To do this, we'll need Mongol weapons. A simple task for a master thief. <laughs> we'll need fighters, too. A small force could distract the Mongols while I get inside Port Izmi and kill the Khan. It could work. Let's get back to Jokaku and prepare. We go and no wonder why it's the gathering storm it's sakai is the coming storm we are the ghost of tsushima that's it Charm of uneven standing. Sticky bombs knock down all affected targets, leaving them vulnerable for longer. I keep forgetting I have sticky bombs. Part of the Jito. When the next storm hits, we attack Kotun Khan. We may not succeed, but with the right help, we may stand a chance. I should check on Yuna at Jogaku Temple to make our preparations. So too. I've got some good news. Finally, some good news. 
Venerable spirit, worn by warriors who have earned respect. <laughs> uh, let's stick with the ghost aesthetic. Oh, the plan's coming. Kenji found where we can steal watches from the Mongols. I'm heading there now. That's a good start. But we need more fighters. No. My uncle wants the Khan dead as much as we do. He'll join our attack. Oh. He'll throw you in prison. I'll write him a message. Leave it in his quarters. In a castle full of samurai. I'll be gone before they know I was there. Or you could just send a messenger. Well, I... We do have a common enemy. Can I convince my uncle? After everything I've done? He was supposed to adopt me as his son. Let's hope my uncle reads it. I'm not letting you leave without a good horse. <gasps> She's giving us a horse. But nothing will ever replace Sora. What you lost. But give one of these a chance. Oh, we get to choose another horse and digital deluxe horse now available. No, this was Sora. This is the ghost of Sora now. We're gonna go with white for death. A digital deluxe horse is available, but you have chosen the white horse. If you choose this horse, it'll be with you for your entire journey. Yeah, I can't go back to Sora. We already buried Sora. I dub thee Roach. Easy there. It's alright. I'm a friend. What will you name this one? Hmm. Kaze, wind. Kage, shadow. But then, it's totally white, not really like a shadow. I don't really like Nobu, I'm not really trust. Well, our previous horse was the sky. This one is the wind. Kaze, swift as the wind. You've chosen to name your horse Kaze. This will be your companion's name for your entire journey. What a commitment. Yes. Good choice. How will you get inside your uncle's castle? I grew up there. And I still remember every hidden path through those old walls. Even as a boy, Lord Shimura couldn't keep up with me. You could just send a messenger, Jin. But thank you for the horse, Yuna. I feel like I'm Gandalf now, yeah. delivering a message. Enter Castle Shimura from the north. Let's fast travel there. Can I just fast travel there already? Oh, from the north. Okay. Kubara crossing. Maybe you're right, Sanguine. Maybe we are gonna fight your uncle. We've been calling it since, like, the midpoint of the game. This may be it. Flashback. Jin, why did you run away? I wanted to catch an eel for your dinner. Were you planning to catch it with your bare hands? Yuzo said you'd get rid of me as soon as you had a son of your own. Oh. Jin, come here. Your friend is wrong. A path ahead may take a lifetime. But I will walk it with you. 
Always. Red flags. Now it's so cold and empty. <sighs> now we enter as the ghost. Be watching the cliff face. Hmm. Hello. Colder than last time. Be careful, Ghost. The samurai are watching for you. Thank you. They helped us out. Common folk, get us out of this. Get out. Get us out of that debacle. Now we're back. I must say though, the thing that only the only thing that seems off are the are the way they design the climbing paths. It's a bit too well. I mean, coming from Assassin's Creed, <laughs> you can tell like in this game where oh, there's like handholds and they're straight and clear. It doesn't look if too I natural. Attack the gods, it will prove I'm the monster they think I am. Right, ghost run. Heard Lord Shiro make a speech outside the main keep. He wants to rally the men. Maybe we're finally going to march against the Khan. Where am I supposed to go? Hey, I wasn't supposed to jump there. Frack. <laughs> there was a tiny gap. Mind the gap. Delivery for Lord Shimura. Those supplies will lead to my uncle. Mm. Need to keep up with the cart. Gonna go in here. No, I have to find a way across there. I can't run across the roof. Wait a moment. Show me. Huh? Yes, it's nothing. More sure. Huh? 
Just wait for the guard to finish checking it. I could use my grappling hook under the bridge. Or find a way to make sure I'm not seen. Grappling hook it is. This is the most complicated courier mission. Oh, sneak into the cart. Can I try that? I want to try sneaking into the cart. Seems like a more fun option. Reminds me of one of my All first right. missions. In order. You can go. Thank you, my lord. I learned this from Kenji. What was that all about? Lord Simura can't be too careful. The Mongols turned the straw hats against us. We can't be sure who to trust. But we're not warriors. We're merchants. Remember all that Ataro? The silk trader? I hear he got some of the ghost's poison and used it in Lady Kino. She was his only business. Now she's a bloated corpse. The poison made her bleed from her mouth. Oh, that's why they search our cot. Who knows what we might be bringing? I would never hurt Lord Shimura. <laughs> Me neither. That's just how things are now. Now with poison on the table. Terrifying. I'm sure this horse is annoyed. Like, ugh, why is it so much heavier than before? Thank you. Need to get inside the main keep. Leave my message in his quarters. Giving a speech. His new samurai. people killed <sighs> uncle you can't know I'm here <sighs> we should have delivered that speech together damn you Jin I saw ladders outside follow after him or hmm. no grapple points this really is the path
had much to answer for. It is our duty to ensure their threat never reaches the Shogun's domain. I have heard the Khan now wields the same poison as Lord Sakai. Do not speak his name in my presence. Forgive me, my lord. Because of him, bandits have learned to use poison to murder our people. The ghost has unleashed a hell on this island. We will not escape this Keep a close eye on the town. Probably someone we trust that gave the recipe of Yuriko. Because I, as far as I can tell, the recipe died with her for the poison. His quarters are on the top floor. Now's my chance to get up there. hates the ghost. Are we one and the same? I think it's something he can't accept. The Mongols have suffered defeats at Granite Pass and Jogaku Temple. We believe Lord Sa- The ghost is responsible for both. What do you wish to do? We will deal with the ghost once we defeat the Mongols. The Shogun's orders were clear. I am aware of his orders. What are his orders? Our first priority remains the Mongols and their leader. Of course, Lord Shimura. Have you learned the Khan's location? The scouts we sent north never returned. I fear they were caught or killed. Show me where they were searching. We will march in their footsteps and see where they lead. Knowing you, Jin Sakai is the ghost mask, he is vengeance. Almost there. The game starts giving you supplies like this, you know it's nearing the conclusion. I have a feeling we're gonna encounter our uncle. Leave the message where he can see it. For Lord Shimura. Is it in my key, key items? Curious. I don't think it's here. We will not know what's in the letter until he reads it. He's here! Gods! Uh-oh. Uncle, forgive me for not facing you in person. The Khan's fleet has gathered at Port Izumi. His ships are loaded with poison that would devastate the Shogun's army. But when the next storm arrives, I plan to kill the Khan and sink his fleet. I ask that you join me. I hope we can meet again. If not as father and son, then as warriors who have walked different paths. Whatever you believe I've become, I will always be your family. Aww. 
winter landscape is also so great for all of these story beats. Let's go. Let's go. Eternal blue sky. The storm is coming. It's time we make our final preparations to strike Kotun Khan. I don't know if we'll survive, and I don't know if Lord Shimura will reinforce us, but I can't turn back now. Yuna should be with the others at Jogaku Temple. I should speak with her before we end this. I feel it, chat. She's outside again by the lake. There she is. What took you so long? I'm ready. You had us worried. I thought you'd been caught. Delivering my message wasn't easy. Did your uncle read it? Will he help us defeat the Khan? I hope so. But we can't wait to find out. Prayer Wind's no. getting stronger. The storm will be here by morning. Wind's howling. Do you secure the siege weapons? Enough to cause plenty of damage. Also found some deserters from your uncle's army who want to follow the ghost. Mm. We're ready. Tell the others we attack at dawn. I'll spread the word, but you should check on them. They want to hear from their leader. Man. Jin gave himself up because he didn't want the civil war to happen. Not now. These deserters are going to suffer the same punishment as me. As I will. I want to speak to my allies, but where are they? I'm exhausted. We've been through a lot. Lord Sakai. It's good to see you, Norio. It's good to have the head of Sido Temple with us. I would never claim such an honor for myself. I know. That's why you deserve it, my friend. Tomorrow we avenge your brother and the warrior monks of your temple. I just want our home back. Same, Norio. Sakai. It's good to have your bow with us, Sensei. I gave you my word. You've given me more than that. Don't get sentimental, Sakai. <laughs> Said the line like, again. Sensei, I'll let you prepare for tomorrow. I prepared my whole life. <laughs> One more day makes no difference. Lady Masako. Jin. Masako, I wasn't sure you'd come. I said I'd be there when you needed me. But I need the Khan dead too. He murdered my husband, and his men slaughtered my sons. We won't let them escape justice. I'll help you make sure of it. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a long day. Or a very short one. Yep. 
for these stories told of Catania, of the ghost and the thief, joined together to defend Tsushima from the Mongols. Weary, they stopped at Jorodaku Temple. The noble monks draw the cold from their bones and restored strength to their sinews. For truly, without those monks in Jorodaku Temple, the Mongols would have never been defeated. It does sound good. Generations to come will speak of this moment. Will speak of us. We must continue doing our part. Offer whatever they need. Your legend here. Legend continues to grow. Genji. Here we are, my lord. <laughs> Made it all the way to the end. Didn't think you'd stick around. Huh. You're in good spirits. Of course! I've been sipping good spirits all day. Don't sip too much. You don't want to sleep through tomorrow. Choking aside. There's no way I would miss tomorrow. I'm here for Taka. Thank you, Kenji. If they follow Lord Sakai. Travel safe, my lord. Taka was a friend. Strong friend till the end. Kenji. And Taka. We wear his armor and his mask in his honor. He made these tools for us. So in a way, Taka, as the brother of Yuna, Yuna taught me to be more flexible with my code, for good or for ill. And she built my legend as the ghost and influenced my tactics, while her brother, Taka, gave me the grappling hook, the armor, the mask, the tools and now the hope that we can get this done so heavy I could barely drag you. Had to strip you half naked just to reach town. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without you, you know. I can't lose you, Jin. After everything we've been through, everyone we've lost, I can't. I have to stop the con. No, you don't. We could find a boat, sail somewhere quiet, while your uncle fights his samurai war. Do you really want that? No. If I fall, promise me you'll keep fighting. You're a real bastard, Jin Sakai. You should get some rest. Not yet. Let's sit just a little longer. This is it. We have one chance to take down the Khan before he attacks our mainland. Kenji, what's the status of our siege weapons? Ready to rain fire on the Mongol fleet. Good. Yuna will signal your attack. Once the volley begins, the Mongols will charge your position and run right into our ambush. The explosives are set up. Archers on the rooftops. We're with you, Sakai. 
Thank you. All of you. Go. Jin, there's no sign of your uncle. That storm's not waiting. And neither are we. Get ready to fire the signal arrow. Are we gonna have a Riders of Rohan moment? No! Here we go. The Mongols are coming. We'll cut down anyone who gets through. And what? The Mongols are regrouping. We won't give them a chance. Norio is leading the rest of our forces up the hill. Then we'll join him and press the attack. Gonna have a change of loadout here. I do want to wear my ghost outfit into this. It feels thematically appropriate. Stealth is probably not going to be an option. So let's make sure we're equipped for combat. This will be our build for this. Killing enemies restores a moderate amount of health. Charm of Matarasu. Terror. Ferocity is what I need. Water increase the melee damage. We also have dual destruction. 10% chance to deal double damage. Fortune to change that 10% into 50%, a plus 50%. And resolve 2 for increased resolve gains. This should work. You're all safe. This is where it ends. Today, the Khan dies. Lord Shimura isn't here. We fight alone. We'll lead an attack on the main gate. Distract the Mongols while you find a way inside. You'll be overwhelmed. We came this far. We're not turning back now. 
You are all the bravest warriors I've ever known. I hope to see you again. I hope so too. Leave the battle to us. What are we waiting for? Now we no can. St now we have you. stealth. And I just change out of my stealth loadout. Need to get to a rooftop. Look over the cab. Figure out how to find the car. You're counting on me. Let's go. <sighs> Should be able to climb. Just a sec. I don't think there's a way up through there. Let's go up here. Where's the watchtower? Is that the watchtower? Or am I going the wrong way? Oh, that is the watchtower. Here you to your son. Seriously? And you speech. Hmm. Which way? Usually the path is pretty obvious. I don't have the right. I switched out of my loadout. Oh, that's the tower. All right. I don't think this is the proper way to go. I don't see any clear path. from there. Are more difficult on the rooftops. Hmm. 
rooftops are slick. There's Kodum Khan. All this death because you and your uncle would not surrender. I offered you peace, and you chose war. Now, the people of your mainland will suffer. You will never leave this island. again. I guess we changed to our appropriate garb. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna... It doesn't feel thematically appropriate to like... I feel like we need to be wearing the ghost armor. Like, I know it's not the optimal choice. But let's try to kill Kotun Khan with the ghost armor on. I feel that's... I'll do it for the story. I will avenge the people of Tsushima! Vengeance? 
the petty wish of a child. Your people will forget you. That's right, and we don't start with resolve. I will avenge the people of Tsushima. Vengeance? The petty wish of a child. Already your legend fades. I could I could switch out to the better armor. But I feel I'm getting stubborn. Like I will avenge the people of Tsushima. Vengeance! The petty wish of a child. I need to finish this with ghost armor. <laughs> The problem is the resolve we have none starting off. So this is really a test of skill. I think we can do this. I will avenge the people of Tsushima. Vengeance! The petty wish of a child. Should I switch to my reliable armor? I will avenge no. the people of Tsushima. Vengeance! The petty wish of a child. Phase two. Oh, the poison. Just the certs. Mad. 
out again, I hope. Just like before. Or will my uncle find me and kill me?
This is yours. Still at the face of my uncle. Or I can just vanish into the shadows. That felt good, finishing it in the ghost armor. I think it felt right. With the cutscenes and everything. Khan is dead, but his army is still here. Our home won't be safe until we drive them out to sea. And when they're gone, what happens then? We start new lives. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. A good person. You're a great warrior. A loyal friend. And a thief. That's the past. <clears throat> what you become tomorrow is your choice. This is it? This is the end of the main story? I need some closure. We can't stay here long. My uncle will come looking for us. No, he won't. After the battle, he sent a messenger. Did he offer to make peace? He wants to meet you by the still waters under the red-leafed tree. Omi Lake. I used to spar there when I was a child. Want company? I need to face him alone. He's my only family. I know. It still hurts, thinking about Taka. The smell of smoke in his hair. His quiet laugh. The hell he'd give me for drinking too much. My whole life, he was part of me. And, and now... I'm alone. You're not alone. You have me. A ghost. You belong to everyone. Sanguine, I think this is it. I think we're gonna fight our uncle. Or talk. Or fight and talk. Or talk and fight. To the death? I don't know. Tale of Lord Shimura. The Khan is defeated. But I have one last personal matter to deal with. Lord Shimura has asked me to meet him under the red leaf tree by Omi Lake. I need to face him. I won't keep running. We should face him as the ghost. I think it's only fitting. Let's make sure we're all prepared. Ferocity, melee damage, double damage, 60% resolve gain. That's our typical build. Parries, perfect parries, perfect dodges are easy to perform. Or should we face him as Lord Sakai? This? Hey Mary Live, welcome to the stream. It's been a while. It's been a while. Great to see you here again. We're, we've just, I believe we're just wrapping up the main story now before we jump into the DLC next week. But we just killed Kotun Khan and now we're about to face our uncle. Mm, I don't know, Sanguin. Should we face him as Sakai?
because he and his he and his father also my father was actually he didn't get along with Shimura as well. There were hints that my father, Jin Sakai's father, was a bit more flexible as well in terms of battle tactics and the samurai code. So my father actually never got along with Lord Shimura. So to face him in my father's armor. Perhaps there's something poetic to that. But I will remove my helmet. I will wear the ghost headband. Well, I'll be ending the stream soon, Mary, in 40-ish minutes. Well, we're going to wrap up our encounter with the uncle, tie up some loose ends, and call it a night. Call it a night. But thank you for dropping by, Mary. And thank you again for that server boost. I'm looking, I was actually looking for Discord stickers and emotes because I want to put some in into the server. I know I haven't been that active there in Discord. We are quite small, but we'll find our heading eventually. And as we develop more content for the channel, the boost will really be helpful. So thank you for that. But thanks for dropping by and we'll try to make the most out of your time. Thank you so much for taking time out of the day to come and tune in. And if the raiders are still here lurking, again, she's been so great. Over the week, we've been getting so many raids, and I'm so grateful for that. Hopefully, we can return the favor and catch some of the channels as well. But whenever I'm done streaming, at least the people I follow are, well, they're, they're asleep. <laughs> so we got to find other people and hopefully connect with more people and find other people. If you have suggestions as well, that's why there's a redemption there to, uh, to guide the raid. So if you have anyone at the end of each stream that you'd like us to follow or new people you'd like me to introduce to, you'd like to introduce me to, I'd love to see it. <laughs> you can make emotes. That's right. All right. But for now, we're going to conclude things. Things. I need closure. I need to face my uncle. And Sanguine, we're going to wear our father's armor, but not the helmet. Because that would cover our eyes. We're going to face our uncle as the ghost in Sakai armor. We shall face him with no mask. This is it. It all ends in Omi Lake. <laughs> or maybe we're just gonna have a civil conversation. I doubt it. Let's go, Kaze. You're about to witness the end. Oh, c interrupting this solemn moment. Your Khan is dead. Why won't you leave? <laughs> the ghost lives, and your Khan does not. For him on the dock. Are we ready, Sanguine? We've been through a lot. We've been. This is ten weeks of streaming. Well, I know we have the DLC, but we are going to put an end to this. Uh, we are reaching the end of this chapter in Jin's story. It's been quite the ride. 
Thanks for being here. Shogun ordered for my head, maybe. Oh. Jin. Uncle. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. The Shogun has disbanded Clan Sakai. As of today, you are no longer Samurai. Mm. I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. New samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. I have to say goodbye to my home. Ride with me. I dressed up all for nothing. Okay, this is more appropriate. Uh, we're not. We weren't. We weren't there to like fight. We wanted to talk. I'm gonna say goodbye. No clan. No home. Uh. We lost our horse. We lost our good friend Taka. Yes. The Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left ensuring they fail. The task I hoped we would face together as father and son. You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. I hope you find the right one, Uncle. Looks like he could use a push. Here, let us help you. Do not trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. You are much too kind. The mud is thicker than it looks. That's a heavy load. Where are you headed? Jogaku. The ghost army is up there. He has an army. You didn't hear? They'll sail for the Mongol steppes with a storm at their back. Burn their homes to the ground. An impressive goal. This is everything I can offer them. I hope it helps. Then we will see you on your way. Wow. The legend of the ghost. I mean, I was never really the ghost. The ghost could be anyone. Let's go. <clears throat> there it goes. Thank you, my lord. Jogaku is many miles from here. Keep away from the mud and the Mongols. I will. I have no idea what he's talking about. Not here. Follow me. Did he? Is he? He knows about the ghost army. It's just this way of is he like Commissioner Gordon? And is that their thing now? Am I gonna be Batman and he Commissioner Gordon? I don't have an army. Every day more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. 
I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. What makes you think your followers will obey you? Thanks for dropping by, Mary. Take care. Enjoy your food. <laughs> well, our uncle does have a point. Obviously, they rebelled against the lords. Disobeyed his orders to follow our cause. A quest for vengeance. Justice. He does know about the ghost That's army. Walk with me, Jin. But As it is worrisome. Can no longer control the legend of the ghost. We could never control it. My family's cemetery. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai. Including your mother. And my father. We must pay our respects. Mm. Beautiful. White and red. Blood and death. I will miss this. So will I. Oh no. He is here to kill me. Wait. I don't know what's going on. The Shogun has declared you a traitor. Yep. He ordered you to kill me. The ghost was an outlaw. He taught our people to defy their leaders. To defend themselves. With poison. A gift you gave to our enemy. I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. You have no honor. And you are a slave to it. Ooh. You were my son. Were. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. to do this but they do oh man 
Okay. Our last haiku. Whoever loses. Reflecting on loss. Destiny divides our souls. our souls. Will death redeem us? will always be with you. Yes, uncle. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son. Are you ready? Black and white. I don't want to hurt you. The wounds dealt my spirit. You never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. Let me go in peace. You want revenge. My failure. This is not my revenge. It is my
under me with a warrior's death. This is how we move forward. I'll give him a chance. He was truly a slave to honor. And he will take his own life. This doesn't have to be this way, Sanguine. So let him live and walk away is to hurt him even more, actually, at this point. It doesn't have to be this way. No. That is what he believes. He believes that. And that is why, in his eyes, Either he commits seppuku, or for his failure, the Shogun will also strip him of his title, of his land. Is this all worth it? We defeated the Khan. We've won the war. But I'm no longer Samurai Sanguine. I choose to believe. There is another way. Good choice though i'm actually wondering if the whole int I, I i'm i'm predicting in terms of player statistics i have a feeling most people would probably have killed him and honored his wish for death because that's the expected way and how things should go But he's the last of his line. Then two houses would have fallen. And yet Lord Shimura stood steadfast. He never bowed to the Mongols. He never gave his own people up. Hey, welcome to the stream, Izzy. You just caught us in a very tough spot. But I'm so glad you're in Shadowbringers right now, by the way. But I'm trying to process all this right now. I don't remember if, if you've played Ghost of Tsushima before, but... Actually, I would like to hear your thoughts. Or, Well, Sanguine, you are off clearly of the mind to kill. But Sanguine, our last words to him. He's a slave to honor. What is honor? In this case, has he not been honorable to the very end? A stronger man I've never met. He was held prisoner while everyone else chose to try and survive. To do things they would never have done just to see another day. Lord Shimura risked it all. He was in a position of privilege, yes. The Khan wanted to convince him. Wanted to sweeten the deal. To lure him in with honeyed words. But Lord Shimura never did. We rescued him, we fought the Mongols together. And at the end of all things, we both achieved what we set out for.
I would see killing him and honoring his wish for death is just, it's just, just It would just be sustaining what was. And I feel like this whole story has been about you know the push and pull between sticking you know it's the extremes. Sticking to the code to the detriment of all the people around you. To have the privilege to say that you live and die with honor when the whole world burns around you. That you still hold on to that honor there's definitely merit to that to remaining steadfast to your ideals to the end how you never bend your code how you're never flexible with it that is a very good question Izzy and that slots in very well with what I was thinking to kill him To kill him is to be the ghost. That's how I see it in this very moment. To prove that the ghost indeed was a traitor, was a villain, was an enemy to the people. I feel like sparing him. And if he relinquishes the hold of that honor has over him, I do admire and respect him, but this is just... Jin Sakai. Yeah. This is a new age. And I can see all the threads there. He, The hurt in his eyes. How... He was my father. He is my father. I'll give them this chance to think about this in front of my father's grave. My father, actually, based on the hints and what we learned about our own father, he was very, he was of a similar mind. He and Lord Shimura never got along because my father also had quote unquote modern views, which would be considered radical for these times. This life is not mine to take. If he is to commit seppuku, then that would be his choice. His acceptance that honor is the way. Always. To the very end. He will have to decide that on his own. Welcome to the stream, Captain Panda. Yes. It's great to have you all here, but yeah, we're almost done. This is the I think this is the final decision. His father wouldn't be in this position. <sighs> I just gotta say though, I mean, as a time for reflection and all that. Yeah, before the DLC. It's not the end. We have the DLC and looking forward... I don't think I could live with having murdered my uncle. My father. All because what? Because as terrible as it sounds, look, if he sticks to his code of honor, he failed to take in the ghost, then his clan could also be over. If he admits to the Shogun that I failed, he was given a direct order to kill me. But we could also say the ghost is dead. Jin Sakai promised it himself. Well, not promised, but he said that the ghost... Well, I remember he did say that after the war, he would no longer be the ghost. And now the ghost has become something beyond the both of us, beyond uncle and nephew, beyond father and son. And I think that's a good hint at the end, our little encounter with the peasant, uh, the merchant who was going off to feed the army of the ghost. This is beyond us now. And we... We have to rebuild, uncle. Let's try to forgive ourselves. Forgive each other. And 
rebuild. Please. And if you commit seppuku, then... Then I tried. At least I tried. for being here everyone after 10 weeks of streaming this is one of the first games we started streaming i know it's not over but we finished the main quest we'll be moving on to the dlc to revisit and learn more about clan sakai which i feel is quite appropriate now at the very end of all things because clan sakai is no more so to return to iki island at this point it's as if we're saying goodbye to clan sakai the gameplay was so good. Like, sure. Like, I feel like I wanted more out of the story and being able to really grapple with the themes of it. But I think it gave enough. It's like a teaser. You know, we never really have the true answer to these things. It's so complicated being alive in these times. But I'm happy with that ending. And it leaves it up to my uncle to decide his own fate. If he truly believes that there's no other way then he would be my uncle to the end. But to give him that chance to really say that I'm still your family and I understand the ghost is something I will have to deal with. I started it and I have to finish it. Well, that is my first experience and my first playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. No wonder it got all those good reviews. This is such a great foundation to start with. To continue. I feel like we gotta... This is the start of something new. I mean... I really hope they continue it. The, the framework is so great. You know, uh, mechanically as a game. I never realized how much I wanted a game like this. Because <laughs> growing up, I really loved the Tenchu series. And as well, when everyone wanted an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan. 
this is the closest we're gonna get and I feel like I'm glad Ubisoft didn't do it this is great that is a good thing that's something we could think about as well from the from the Mongol perspective special thanks people of Tsushima I've never been to Tsushima but I wonder if after the release of this game well pandemic aside I wonder if people actually start to visit Tsushima after this it's always tough you know taking the Empire's perspective in these kinds of stories it is definitely something to really look at and to learn from but as well it's it's also difficult to really it's not really choosing a side you know these, these games are for entertainment it is historical fiction and allowing us to experience these viewpoints allows us to really grapple with our own sense of morality and our own politics as well this definitely painted the samurai as a hero but as well they also gave in a bit of nuance into it there were some quest lines and i'm glad we did all the quest lines before getting to the main quest to highlight as well the atrocities committed by our own people and how things were not even it wasn't all roses you know even before the mongols came or a three kingdoms game holy shit yeah honestly the combat system in this i'm convinced like just stra stripping out all the what could have been in terms of the story how, how much they, how they could have pushed the themes even further and how they could have used their characters even better just as a game we got something here I feel like it's rare for me to feel like uh, one of the last times I felt this way in terms of like gameplay wise was Batman Arkham Asylum like in terms of the third person action genre like uh, what Rocksteady did in terms of Batman in the combat system there and how that changed things similar to how Gears of War also changed how third person shooters Cover shooters. It basically defined that genre. I feel like this is great. I would have really liked them to explore more about how they viewed honor, but I can see how they were just tossing that word around and leaving it up to the audience to really decide on that. Hey, Peter Huang. Anyway, there's a lot of Huangs in the world. But yeah, they could, wherever they could go from here, definitely. Maybe I'll try out the multiplayer off stream. W wait, we're not done yet, guys. After this, we're back in the world. We're going to tackle Iki Island. Supposed to be even more difficult than the main game. So the little challenge we had there at the end with Kotun Khan. I'm so glad, Sangwin, that we didn't like switch out to the armor, to meta, and like be optimal in terms of it. I really felt... I needed to be the ghost in those cutscenes. The ghost needed to deliver that justice. Wearing Taka. It is for Taka, Sanguine. Taka made that armor for us, made that mask for us. And I felt like we were carrying him into that battle with a with a Khan. We did it. Yeah. This was it scaled everything back down, Izzy, from that. Um because the last Assassin's Creed, yeah. He, honestly, I wish for more moments with Taka. I, I I was really saddened by it. I felt really terrible for Yuna. And to highlight that as well, right? Sticking to tradition, sticking to everything. How Yuna was constantly being talked down to by my uncle. How she kept saying, "A woman is bad for you. Yuna is bad for you. She's making you bend the code. She's making you break everything." And yet Yuna was just. She's been through so much herself from the other side, from, from outside the walls of a manor. She had the perspective of suffering under the heel of her own people. And yet she didn't... And yet she still retained herself. She still... For me, Yuna still had honor. I felt that. Yuna could have left. She had so many opportunities to... But whether it was for love of Jin Sakai or simply 
being able to hold on to her own code of honor where she just wanted to help people. To prevent people from suffering what she suffered. And my uncle couldn't see that. And that drove us apart even further. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy for me, Izzy. That for me was the peak of their game. And no, that and Odyssey. I gotta say, I, I just loved Odyssey so much because of Cassandra. Like, for me, I loved Cassandra. You can say it's not an Assassin's Creed game, but I love the setting. I love the lore behind it. I loved Cassandra as a protagonist. And the story of family. And similarly enough, being... Doing your duty. You know, how, that, that really ripped me apart from the very beginning. How... What's the name of your adoptive father? Nikolaus. The scene on top of the mountain. You know, sure, they ripped it out of 300, the movie. But in terms of dramatic effect... The gods telling you you must sacrifice your son he was the lord shimura of that story and now i'm looking now it's making me reflect on that in assassin's creed odyssey basically your father tossed you off a fucking mountain all right for the gods for honor for duty but when i when I caught up to my father in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, when I caught up to Nikolaus, and he said, you know, he let me have a choice to, I could just end it. Like, I, I, I don't deserve it, but I let him live. I couldn't kill him for what he did to me. Similar to here, Lord Shimura, ordered by the Shogun to take my head. Yeah, but overall, all two trilogy. What is this? The memoirs? Oh, I'm red now. Oh, I have control. Okay. Well, I... What am I writing? That's another layer to it, Izzy. <laughs> but stripping all the whole precursor, uh, demigod breeding aside, uh, going back to the family unit and where, you know, actual love in terms of it. Um, the whole eugenics thing, uh, I mean, Try not to get too far into spoilers territory, but in terms of, you know, the whole background of Cassandra and her actual family history, you could strip all that away, actually. Similar to very... Similar to actually a lot of any Assassin's Creed game, you could strip away a lot of the modern elements and just stick to what you have now in the present in terms of reuniting with your Spartan family. I was able to get the quote-unquote best ending with the family reuniting, but I can also see how a different perspective or a different player could get to their ending and have and be alone and I appreciated that like your views on your, your tolerance for forgiveness your, your, your tolerance for trying to find a new way together after the world just twisted and turned our own world views you know to be put in that position to, as similar to Nikolaus to Lord Shimura when raised and the Samurai Code, or the Spartan Code. And to see that through to the end, all the way to having your family broken, is it really worth it? <laughs> You're right, Izzy. <laughs> well put. But, wow. Uh, yeah, Sanguine, I did enjoy Black Flag. Sorry, I got so into it. Um, I really enjoy this game. Gameplay definitely stellar for me to stand out. The way the, the design, the world design, the way it plays and feels and looks, all there. But I guess now we are truly the ghost. This is your little hideout. Are we gonna be hunted for the rest of our days? Lady 
Masako lost everything and everyone. If she can keep moving forward, so can I. That's true. Lady Masako lost her whole family. In a way, we shared that same thirst for vengeance to get back at everything and everyone. And it is her own sister. Yeah, I do like this ending. I really like this ending, Izzy. Knowing that my uncle's still out there and having him grapple with the fact that the ghost is out there. It felt... I don't know. It, there's so much finality to it. More than executing him could have ever given, I feel. Yeah. It's that. It's... This is the way things are now. So now you prove, Sanguine, we went the renegade route. No paragons here, Sanguine. I lived under these banners most of my life. Yep. Let's just have a look around our new headquarters, then that'll be it for the stream. But this is our life now. Fallen at my family cemetery. Beautiful. Even in death. I used to think I only needed a horse, a bow, and my katana. Now we have so many tools. Kenji's best. Or so he tells me. <laughs> I'll have to share it soon. At least Kenji's still around. How long did it take Yuna to make this? I owe her everything. She's the one giving me gifts. Mm, Ryuzo's hat. You should be here, Ryuzo. Trading stories, getting drunk. <sighs> for me, that is also a missed opportunity. Uh, Ryuzo. All we got from him was the exposition dump of We used to be friends, and then now we're not. <laughs> I know they couldn't like stuff in everything in the game, right? I did, it looked like they were trying to do a lot of things, but in terms of Ryuzo's betrayal and having to end Ryuzo, I didn't feel much of the impact there. Oh man, Izzy, imagine on the mainland getting to go to getting to go to Kyoto and dealing with all the politics there. Well, okay, going back to history, this was the first invasion of Tsushima, right? And um, the first attempt was thwarted. I'll have to look back into it, but they still have a lot of material to work with. Smells almost sweet, but it's as deadly as any blade. I, mean, I still have poison, I guess. I hope you find peace, Uncle. The dialogue sounds like we killed our uncle. I guess we kind of did, in a way. Tomoe didn't need this anymore. I hope she found what she was seeking. And if you go to and if we go to the mainland, uh, hear me out. Uh, Tomoe is there, right? Uh, cause Tomoe left saying that she was going to start an inn in Kyoto. If we ever end up there. That might be another opportunity to meet and get to know uh, Tomoe. Jin Sakai is hereby an official student of Sensei Sadonobu Ishikawa. Oh! What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> ah, okay. At least the Sensei is still around. Yuna's knife. The blade's dull. Can't believe it's still in one piece. For most of my life, I dreamed of being your son. <sighs> Nurio promised he'd teach me to play the horagai, so we can signal each other across the island. Oh. Yuriko helped me pick these for my mother. I can't believe she kept them all these years. Oh, Yuriko. 
First the Mongols, now the Shogun. Never imagined I'd be so popular. <laughs> Shogun does not like us. This is the life we chose. The twin mountains of Clan Sagai. I won't let my family fade from memory. And that's a segue into Iki Island DLC. I think you looked at everything here already. Coincidentally, that is a great note to end on. Oh, oh man. Miss Sora. You were faithful to the end, Sora. I'm gonna miss you. Alright, just make sure we have everything. That is a great playthrough. So glad I played this game. Taka. Taka's trial run. Before he made my grappling hook. He didn't want to disappoint me. He didn't. And he never did. Hm. If you could say they could they stood up to the Khan. And so we have become the ghost. Jin. Hey! I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do, now that Clan Saka is gone. And I've been branded a traitor. I heard about your uncle. Will he come for us? I don't think so. But sooner or later, someone will. What matters is you're alive. You defeated Khotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. The Khan's forces are stuck here. More desperate than ever to conquer our island. Then we'd better keep fighting. Just don't forget. Tsushima needs you. I'll never forget that. Good. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Hit the Mongols from all sides. Take back our home. Goodbye, Jin. And take care of yourself. I will. You too, you know. And that concludes our first playthrough of the main quest, everyone. New Game Plus unlocked. Liberate Tsushima from Mongol presence. There's a lot more to do, I guess. Eliminate the Mongol forces occupying Tsushima. We're gonna get to Iki Island next week. Replayable duels and Mongol territories unlocked. I did love the duels here. The GG. And thanks for staying, Sanguine, for the whole playthrough. And thanks for dropping by, Izzy. Again. Good to have you all in the stream. And I'm super grateful. Uh, you all came in at the time when I was like deciding. It really helped. I just bounce off chat in terms of trying to think about what to do with my uncle. And what we should do moving forward. <sighs> Duel in the dark? No. Uh, that's a thing. Uh, I might, if I can find it, I should do it off on stream. Because I did love the duels, and I'll have to showcase those. So before getting into Iki Island, where we reminisce about Clan Sakai and really find out who our family was or is, we are going to find the rest of the duels. Because we've only done three out of five duels. And there's still a bunch to explore. In the dark, huh? So yeah, we got a lot to liberate, but I'll probably be doing all these side content off stream. I will be playing the Mythic Tales, I feel, because I like the backgrounds behind the Mythic Tales. I think those are stories worth sharing. And if we get any more Tales of Tsushima featuring side characters, I will do that. But definitely, the journey is not over. We finally conclude our playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. We are going to journey into the past next week. Next Saturday, same time. And revisit Clan Sakai. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. For all the raiders as well, if you're watching this now. Thank you for joining the stream and making things a bit more lively. This is a good game. <laughs> and wherever you are, take care. And as always... Welcome to the table, everyone. Let me officially say that. 
And for the lurkers out there, if you haven't already, please follow us on Twitter and Instagram. If you wish to join our community, it's small but growing, and we're still finding our way in the storm. Go ahead and join us in our Discord. The link should be there and it'll allow you entry into our Discord. We're small but growing. So we have a lot in store for you for this channel, but this is a great start. And I'm really grateful for all the support so far. So we'll see you next week, next Saturday, for the continuation of Ghost of Tsushima. But I'm off on Sunday and Monday. On Tuesday, we're going to turn to stream Wildermyth, where we'll be concluding another campaign. And we'll see where that goes. So take care, everyone. Have a great weekend, and welcome to the table.